Hey everybody, we Howdy. are back once again for the Dark Horse Comics New Comic Book Day Rundown. I am Kara, I am the social media coordinator, and with me today, we have a special guest. Spencer, I'm uh, one of the editors here at Dark Horse. Yeah, Spencer works on a lot of really cool stuff, like... I don't know, the upcoming Stranger Things comic. Have you guys heard of that yet? Have you, have you heard it's, of that It's show? like a cool thing. Yeah. Stranger. Yeah, thing. Stranger that. Things. Uh, coming soon. Free ash can you might be able to get at a comic yep. shop today. I, I've heard some shops talking about it. They still have them. And it's on digital as well. Digital.darkhorse.com. You can get all of our free preview comics, which we announced at uh, San Diego Comic Con. We actually gave out physical copies. Um, again, you might be able to get those at a comic shop still, yep. and they're definitely on digital. Um, we had not only Stranger Things, but also we have an upcoming uh, Mystery Science mm -hmm. Theater 3000 so the comic. So yeah. funny. It's, if you haven't already heard, uh, the way it's going to work is instead of ripping movies right. live on you know, screen, um, they actually, so we have Crow and Tom Servo and other folks entering public domain comics yeah. and kind of making fun of the comics as they go along. Yeah, so it's a really, it's really fun. Um, and then the third Ashcan is Umbrella Academy. Ooh. Hotel Oblivion. Finally. That's, that's right, folks. It's coming back. And uh, we partnered with Netflix also at uh, San Diego to give out masks, which uh, unveiled to you the new Umbrella Academy accounts on social media. So you can follow them at, at Umbrella Acad, I think. Um, and yeah, they're posting all the news about the upcoming TV series that's going to be, be on good. Netflix. It's going to be real yeah. good. So a lot of good stuff coming up for Umbrella Academy fans. Yeah. Um, and we have a lot to cover today, so I'm actually going to start us off into the digital sales, turn it over to Spencer to tell you about the first one. So, the first one is the Conan Mega Bundle. It is a huge, huge Mega Bundle of all the Conan comics through our digital store. Uh, treat yourself today treat yourself. to, uh, let's see, Chronicles of Cole, Chronicles of Conan, the original 1970s Conan comic run, uh, 28,000 pages of Conan for $99.99 uh, on the digital store. Not a Conan. It, it is a deal. It's a deal. By Crom. By Crom. Yeah. Um, single issues are only $0.99 cents and full volumes are only $3.99. Um, yeah, it's it's huge. Go yeah. get it. You can get the whole bundle or if you don't need the whole bundle and you just need a few, you can get the singles or the volumes, you know, one at a time. Whatever you, whatever Conan you want. That's right. Uh, also in digital sales, we have an empowered digital sale. Um, that, of course, is the fun satire by Adam Warren. Um, that also is going to be a big mega bundle. You can get the whole thing for $49.99, or you can get the single issues for $0.99 cents each. Or if you're familiar with Empowered, you know it usually comes out in these big, thick omnibus volumes. Those are only $5.99 each. Oh, wow. So nice. that is also a steal. Yeah. Um, so those are our digital sales. We'll drop links below when we are done here today with the live cast. And... Uh, we're gonna move on into our single issue comics. New comics. New comics. So uh, the first one we have is very exciting. Uh, it is the Seeds number one, uh, and this is new today from Burger Books at Dark Horse. Uh, this highly anticipated mini series from David Aha and Anne Nascenti uh, begins this week. Uh, in a world much like our own, people are smashing their phones and moving to the lawless tech-free zone B. A few cantankerous aliens have come to collect the last dregs of humanity's essence for the celestial embryo bank. One of them falls in love. Astra is an idealistic journalist who stumbles into the story of a lifetime only to realize that if she reports it, she'll destroy the last hope of a dying world. How far will she go to get her story? Uh, it's a new four-issue se miniseries uh, by award-winning artist David Aha. You know, you know him from Hawkeye. Um, and filmmaker, journalist, and comics writer Anna Senti, Daredevil, Catwoman, and it's edited, of course, by Karen Berger herself through Karen, uh, Berger Books here at Dark Horse. It is awesome. AHA is amazing. Uh, pick it up today if you haven't already. Yeah. It's great. We've got the trailer up on our social media, too, if you want to see some little previews of the interiors. Um, and we're going to switch gears a little bit. You might have noticed that Dark Horse has been publishing more and more kids and young adult-friendly comics lately. Um, this is one of those. This is part of our uh, ongoing partnership with Disney Pixar. Um, this week we're pleased to present the new series based on the hit animated film Frozen. Uh, this is Frozen, Baking, Breaking Boundaries number one. And Elsa and Anna find the peace of their beloved kingdom disrupted. A wild animal is loose in the village, there is destruction in the forest, and tension is brewing in the nearby kingdoms. 
Luckily, the sisters will have the help of Olaf, Kristoff, and a new character, a mysterious and adventurous young woman. Um, so this is our first multi-issue comics tale uh, based on Frozen. Um, the art here is done by Kawaii Creative Studio, and uh, they also did the cover art for the main issue, and then the variant cover is by Eduardo Francisco. The writer on this series is Joe Caramagna, and I will try and show you a little bit of the interior here, just so you get a little taste. Um, I think younger readers, fans of Frozen, will definitely enjoy these. The artwork is beautiful, and the story is really fun. So again, that's just part of our expanding kids and young adult comics line. A lot of good stuff coming out of those yeah. comics. Really yeah. excited about those. Uh, next up, we kind of go, again, completely other direction with uh, Frank Miller's uh, Xerxes, number five. <laughs> so <just> one <laughs> Sweet transition. The Fall of House of Darius and the Rise of Alexander. Um, this series, it's Frank Miller. You know, what more do you need to know? It's amazing. Uh, Alex Sinclair is the colorist on it. Uh, but this is the final issue. The Persian Empire is vast beyond imagining. It seems destined to last a thousand years. But a whirlwind comes from the West, the greatest warlord the world has ever known, Alexander. Um, these are uh, much bigger sort of comics issues. There's like 40 pages per issue. And I'm going to show you this amazing little pinup here. Um, you know, Frank Miller killing it as per usual on this stuff. Yeah, most of these are double page spreads throughout the entire comic. So right. you get the full sweeping battle. The cover images. too, right? Yeah. Double, yep. Double, yep. Yep. double cover. Double cover. A little, little fancy thing. Note on, on the back notes on the back there, you see that? <laughs> note on the back. Um, but this is, uh, uh, yeah, this is the last issue of the series. So yeah. get, go pick the, that up. The grand finale. And finally, in our single issues for today, this is the next one in the Quantum Age. So this is from the world of Black Hammer. Um, you, if you're not following that series, you can definitely start here if you want. Um, Black Hammer is a fantastic universe created by Jeff Lemire. Um, he has a lot of Black Hammer stories to tell, and I, I for one, am here for all of them. The Quantum Age is a sub-series that peeks ahead into the future of the Black Hammerverse. Um, this is written by Lemire with art by Wilfredo Torres. Colors, as usual, by Dave Stewart. Letters by Nate Picos. And the variant cover for this issue is by Ale Andrew McLean, who's one of my favorites. Yeah. He did Apocalyptic Girl, which you should read that, too. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the interior art as we go along here. Here's the beginning. Um, in this issue, a rogue Martian joins forces with the down-and-out heroes of the Quantum League, only to find themselves on the run from powerful, oppressive militia forces. Shocking events come to light from both the Martians' past and the Leaguers' ties to the heroes of Black Hammer Farm. And I'm going to tell you guys a little Easter egg. There is a little preview of those uh, Stranger Things comics in the back of this. Oh, and I, I have a little guy I want to show you also in here. Um, if you appreciate armadillos like I do, there's like a little <laughs> armadillo space sidekick in here. Yeah, just, just enjoy that. Oh, there he is. Everywhere. <laughs> he's all over the place. Armadillo. And he's and he's psychic. He can he can talk, psychic armadillo. He can talk to you with his mind. I mean, oh, he looks so like like, like other armadillos. Yeah, and totally. he floats because he's a space armadillo. Sweet. Of um, so Quantum Age number two is out today. And I think that's it for the comics, right? We're we're yes. onto the books now. We're so on to the books. there's lots of books to get through, so we'll books. we'll jump through this stuff. Um, first one up on the list is. One of my favorites, uh, Matt Kent, um, three story. This is a new trade version of the secret history of the giant man. Um, new York Times bestselling and Harvey award winning uh, mind management graphic novelist, Matt Kent. Um, this is a, a decade spanning tale of love, secrets, aging, espionage, and family. Uh, told during three eras by three different women with unique relationships with a man nearly three stories tall. That's right, three stories tall. Um, follow his sad life from birth to the present. Um, this book is amazing and it's this is first time in in trade collection so if you haven't picked it up before now's the time to do it. Matt Kent is just incredible in all that he does so uh, yeah. this is one of his older pieces that is still just just as good today. So, Love Matt Kent. Yeah. So good. If you if you like Department H or Mind Management, right. which also he's doing some new stuff with Mind Management. Oh, so you I should, didn't even uh, know that. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. crazy. Really cool stuff. Nice. It's starting like Right now, it's a project of his, so he's starting with a Kickstarter. There's a vinyl audio that goes along with it, so you should check that out. 
Uh, we've been sharing some of it, and then of course we we publish Mind Management, yeah. so you can get those collections still at, at bookstores. Um, next up, very excited to announce, and oh, yeah, it's gonna I'll, I'll hold on to that one. We'll yeah. Um, so BPRD Hell on Earth Volume Two is back in hardcover. Um, America's monster problem has exploded. Society is crumbling, and Liz Sherman rejoins the fight, so that's good. As Nazis seek to bring Rasputin back to finish what he started when he first conjured Hellboy. Um, this deluxe edition collects Hell on Earth volumes 4 through 6, plus an expanded sketchbook section. I'm going to show you just, just a little peek of that. Look at, look at that. Um, so this includes work uh, written by Mike Mignola and John Arcudi, art by Tyler Crook and Max Fiumara, James Heron, colored by Dave Stewart, and the cover art, we'll go back to that, is by Lawrence Campbell. So another big, beautiful BPRD hardcover is out today. And yes, for those asking, Plague of Frogs is back in print. So those are out There too. you go. <laughs> uh, next up, we have a great trade that I've been super excited about for a long time. Uh, it's Giants uh, by the Valderrama brothers. Um, Greed and ambition collide with survival and the love of family in a post-apocalyptic world ruled by giant monsters whose only goal is destruction. Um, this is their first American comic for the Valderrama brothers. Uh, I think they blew it out of the park. They just knocked it out of the park. It, this thing is is great, and and some of the kaiju, the monsters in this thing, if I can find one real quick, are just just really fun. Um, yeah. Such a great piece. If you, you want a really good fun story with <laughs> giants monsters, then this is it. Uh, but these guys, these guys are great, and they're going to go on to do some amazing yeah. things. This is really fun. If you're a fan of things like Akira, yeah. um, that's something that's often uh, drawn in comparison to this. Yeah. yeah, Giants, Giants is awesome. You should, you should check it out. Um, also, we have a new manga today. Uh, the latest in our zombie post-apocalyptic series, I Am a Hero. This is Omnibus Volume Seven. Uh, opening this volume with a surprise visit to France. Manga maestro Kengo Hanazawa continues to give fans glimpses at how the zombie apocalypse is affecting the rest of the world. Meanwhile, back in Japan, Hideo and the other survivors find camaraderie and even romance as they slowly make their way into Tokyo. So each of our omnibus editions collects two of the original Japanese volumes into one. Um, so that's a really good deal. And if you're not following this zombie manga, you can find the other volumes out as well. This is number seven. Next up, we have the Paybacks Collection, Trade Collection, by uh, the ever-popular Donny Cates, the ever-funny <laughs> Elliot Rahal, and the incredibly talented Jeff Shaw. Uh, heroism doesn't come cheap, so when superheroes borrow money to finance their genetic enhancements or crime-fighting supercomputers, their debts make student loans look like IOUs. <laughs> Enter the Paybacks, a re repo squad composed of bankrupt former heroes here to foreclose on everybody's secret layers. Um, these guys, uh, they do a lot of amazing comics, and this, this is just super fun. Uh, just the way they come up with stuff is great. Uh, if you haven't read any Donna K stuff, I don't know what you're doing, because <laughs> he's on everything he's now. <laughs> it's great. Um, but pick this up. This is out now. Good I collect all the paybacks, everything so far. It's time to collect. Yeah. It's, t it's time to collect. Payback yeah. time. All right, so I have a couple of exciting ones to uh, round this out. Let's yes. see. I'm going to make sure I don't skip ahead on anything here. Right. Oh, there's, there's my next hiding one. hiding from you there. The suit. Here he is. So this is the suit trade paperback. Um, this includes an expanded version of the story and new never-before-seen pages created especially for this edition. Um, so this is by Dennis Calero. Um, you might know him. He's also written some Assassin's Creed. Uh, when a corporate merger becomes a hostile takeover, a cutthroat businessman known only as The Suit must take down the competition before his company goes under. Um, this was originally serialized in Dark Horse Presents, so this collects all of those plus the new material I mentioned. And I'm going to maybe show you a little bit of some bonus sketches in the back here. As usual with our collections, there's a great sketchbook section as well as the full collection of the original comics. So this is another fun return today by Dennis Calero. Uh, next up we have Volume 3, Tomb Raider, Survivor's Crusade. Lara Croft's hunt for clues about the secretive religious organization Trinity and its connection to her father's death takes her all over the world. But the unique dangers that come with being a Tomb Raider are too much for some of her closest friends to bear. And in her fanatical crusade for answers, Lara 
will Lara isolate herself from those who could help her the most? Uh, this is from uh, writers Jack Jackson, Lansing, and Colin Kelly. Uh, they're just uh, a pair of guys who are just the funnest to talk to. Dynamic so duo. great. They're so fun. And they're snazzy dressers, yes, too. Yes, they are. Yeah. They're very snazzy dressers. Yeah. Um, and Ashley A. Woods is an incredible artist, uh, still up and coming, but she's wonderful. Um, if you get a chance to pick this up, check out her work. Uh, these guys, they, they put a fun book together. It is it yeah. is crazy. And they're still writing for Tomb Raider. Yeah. So this is like the lead up to the series that we have going on right now, right. Tomb Raider Inferno. Right. So if you're reading that one, you can get, or you can get caught up um, and, and get on with it because we have the single issues progressing right now. Mm -hmm. um, and that one has the return of uh, fan favorite artist Philip Sebi, oh, nice. who, oh, who oh, just, yeah. who just save, commented that Jack and Colin are the best. They are the best. <laughs> so, They're a lot of fun. Up, how's I, got, it going? I got to hang out with them at uh, San Diego. Yeah. Good times all around. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Hopefully we'll see them again soon in an yeah. upcoming show. We'll see. <laughs> Right. Um, so, we are nearing the end of this marathon new comic book day, but we have two more really big, fun releases I'm excited to uh, talk to you favorite. about. Ooh. I know. So, number, number one on, on the last two here is Zodiac Star Force Volume 2, <laughs> Rise of the Fire Prince Trade Paperback. So, this collects the whole set of uh, the second Zodiac Star Force arc. After defeating a former Zodiac Star Force member and her mean girl minions, the girls thought they would get a break. But a new big bad has come out to play, and demons are overrunning the town. Uh, in this series, we get to meet the UK Zodiac Star Force team, which is really fun. We meet oh, some man. more of the Zodiac signs. Yeah, I do. Um, are they going to be friends or foes? I don't know. They have to learn how to get along. Um, the series Comics Alliance calls your favorite new magical girl team uh, returns here with more laughs, crushes, and monsters in their latest adventure. So this is written by Kevin Panetta with art by Paulina Ganeshow. Um, I love their work and colors by Sarah Stern. Um, I mean, I wish I could show you all of this because it's beautiful. But so good. once again, I'm so I'm gonna good. skip ahead to show you some of the back material. So cool. So these are some of the new team members and old, and uh, you get to see some of their powers in full effect in this series. If you love magical girls, this is kind of a fun modern take on the whole genre. Um, I just, I can't recommend this highly enough. Yeah. I love this series. So much heart. It's so much fun. Like, it's so fun. Uh, there, I think there's more to come. So stay tuned yes. for some of that. But for now, you can get the whole second series collected here in volume two. And also, and last but not least, I'm excited to show off Hard in Hightown. Uh, you might know this from Dragon Age, where uh, you might know this dwarf character, Varric Tethris. He is uh, not only your companion throughout the Dragon Age games, but he is also a published author. Uh, this is a bestseller in the world of Thetis, and now it has crossed over to our world, and you can pick it up in comic shops and bookstores soon. Um, this in-world novel follows the adventures of Donan Brenakovic, a weathered and weary city guardsman who finds himself paired with a fresh-faced recruit. Words. When the mismatched pair discovers a dead... Well, I mean, it is a prose novel. So <laughs> there are some illustrations. There's pictures in it, I swear, guys. Um, but yes, so this, this actually publishes the book that you would know from the game. And if you didn't see this yesterday, uh, we worked with Bioware on this, of course. So great. And the voice of Varric himself has uh, given us a little video narration. Um, you should definitely check it out. It's posted to our social media right now and Bioware's, and we'll share it again in the days to come. But Harden Hightown is now something you can get and hold in your hot little hands, not just in your Dragon Age character's hands. So, Good out stuff. today, Harden Hightown, for real. Yep. It exists in print. And we have made it. We have That's gone it. through Tell everything. Me. So, as usual, we'll post the links to the digital sales and other features below after we're done with the live cast. And uh, if you want to win, everything we've talked about today don't forget to share this video that's all you need to do to win everything is just share this video on facebook oh yeah we'll see you next week